this is Carla and welcome back to the studio and thank you for joining me for another episode of Throwback Thursday. So for this Thursday I will be using a recently retired suite of product that was in our last annual catalog. Now with this suite half of it retired and the other half actually carried over into our new annual catalog. So we have the Countryside Corners Cling Stamp Set. This is one stamp, so this is more of a background size stamp. And this, like I said, had re this stamp set had retired. It also coordinated with the Countryside Corners dies. Now these dies did carry over, so they are in our annual our new annual catalog um, also in the suite was the countryside blossoms embossing folder that had retired as well and then there is the countryside in dsp so all of these images are in a lot of different shades of blue just really pretty prints on both sides of these of this paper and the colors in this paper is balmy blue boho blue misty moonlight night and navy and basic white now in addition to this set this was not part of the suite however it was on the next page and it does coordinate well with the suite this is the lasting joy photopolymer stamp set. Now the stamp set in the suite is just the image. It doesn't have any greetings. But with this stamp set, the flowers that are in this stamp set actually resemble the flowers that are in the DSP. So in a way that this could have been part of the suite as well. However, it really wasn't. But we are going to be using it for our cards tonight or today actually so to get started let me get this stuff that i need here for my first card now the two cards that i am making today are really on the easy side so they are cards that if you really like the layout and you have the products you can easily uh, mass produce these cards. So I have a piece of Misty Moonlight that measures eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I have a five by two inch piece of that Countryside in DSP. I have a piece of Boho Blue that measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I have a scrap of basic white. So on with this stamp set, I am going to use this greeting that says, May the years ahead be filled with lasting joy. So let me pull this out. And there's also this grouping of these little flowers. I'm going to be stamping them as well. And then the ink that I'm going to be using for this project is Night of Navy and Balmy Blue. So let me get my blocks for these stamps and I'll set these aside for a moment because I do have to do a bit of die cutting before I can, um, before I can stamp. All right, so for this basic white piece, I all, I'm also going to bring in the stylish shapes dies, and I'm going to use this circle right here. Now, these dies, they did carry over into our annual catalog. So I'm going to take this and set this aside because I'm going to die cut that. And then with this piece of boho blue, I am going to emboss that with the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. And then for this, I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish my card base. And then I'm going to take my DSP, make sure it's the right way up. And I'm going to add some adhesive to the back. 
and I'm going to stick that. I want to center it from top to bottom, but I want it a little bit more over to the left, like so. Okay, so let me take my card base, let me set that aside, and let me bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine, take care of the die cutting and the embossing, and I will be right back. Okay, so let me bring in my pieces. So I'm going to take this piece of boho blue that I embossed. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this. And I'm going to place this down over here. Um, want more to the right. And we're not exactly putting it in the middle. We do have it down a little bit further. Okay. And then on this tag, I'm going to bring in my Night of Navy ink. And I'm going to ink up my greeting. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my balmy blue, and I do have a piece of scratch paper because I'm going to stamp off my stamp. And I'm going to stamp one. Like up here, and then ink it up again, and I'm going to stamp this one down over here. So I just want a little bit of a subtle design behind my greeting. Okay, and then this was not part of the suite either, so I have the this is the boho blue textured ribbon. Uh, this came in all of the in color. So it was boho blue, moody mauve, wild wheat, pebble path, and there's one more pebble path. Boho blue. Oh, I got, I got the colors right here. So we have the boho blue, copper clay, moody mauve, Wild Wheat and Pebble Path. Those are the colors. So the, that ribbon, this ribbon, even though the color carried over for another year, that um, ribbon retired and so did these. These are the 2023 to 2025 in color dots. And so I'm going to take my ribbon and get my scissors. And I'm going to put a piece diagonally across this. So I'm going to cut that right there. And then let's see, I'm going to cut at an angle right here. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet. And I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of my ribbon. I want to kind of tuck that around. And I'm going to place this just right, like I mentioned, diagonally, like so. Get the, the glue off of my fingers. 
And then on the back of this, I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. So I've used up the two that are on here. So let me get another sheet. And put those on there. And then I'll come in and I will center that right over my ribbon. And then I'm going to bring in these in color dots and my take your pick tool. And I'm going to use one of each of, of these dots. They come in three different sizes. So I'm going to add one up there. And let's see, we got one up here these these embellishments are really cool they kind of have like a cat's eye type effect to them and i just think they're really really pretty so there is our first card on to our second okay so for my second card i have a piece of knight of navy that measures eight and a half by five and a half and i've scored it at four and a quarter I have another piece of that countryside in DSP. This measures five and a quarter by four. And then I have a scrap of boho blue. So I'm going to start off with folding and burnishing my card base. And then I'm going to take this DSP and I'm going to adhere this to my card base. I'm just going to center that like so and then I'm going to set that aside now on this piece here I am going to bring in that countryside corner stamp and I am going to bring in my embossing additions toolkit now this toolkit comes well, let me pull out the things that it does not come with. So you get the tray, you have your embossing buddy, you have a brush, and then there is also a reverse locking tweezer that comes with it as well. So for this, I am going to bring in my Versamark ink, and I'm going to ink this up. Put my lid down. Make sure I ink this up really well because I will be adding my white embossing powder to it. Okay. And then I'm going to bring my paper in and I'm going to center it. And I'm going to place it down and I'm just going to press down on it for a little bit just so that ink will get onto my cardstock. Okay. And then let me set that aside. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my tray here. And my embossing powder. Now, this little plastic spoon that I got, this is just a little hors d'oeuvre spoon, plastic hors d'oeuvre. I can talk. It's um, It came in a pack, so very inexpensive. And I use this to um, put my embossing powder on my pieces of cardstock that I want to add my powder to. So I'm going to add and what I like to do is I like to go back over what I've just done to just make sure that I got all those spots covered.
like I got a little bit of extra powder where I don't want it. That's where you would want to use your embossing buddy, but I will try and get that brushed off. Let's see, did I get a replace else though? Okay. Now let me get my brush and just get those little bits. And of course I just brushed off powder off of one of those dots, which is not what I wanted it to do. I'll just come in. And add it back. Trying to get some of that excess. The other thing that you can do too with some of these smaller hard to get spots, you can use the putty end of your take your pick tool and you can come in and you can just kind of pick up that excess powder. Anywhere else? Right up here. If you use your embossing buddy, you wouldn't have to do this. But I didn't use it. But we'll make it work. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so then let me close up my embossing powder because I do not want that to get all over the place. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, and move my ink. Okay, so now what I am going to do, this part I'm going to speed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat emboss this. And then afterwards, I'm going to use my countryside corners dies. Now this is the largest one, so I'm going to cut the whole thing out. And then I have this one that's a little bit smaller. And this is going to cut out these three this whole section here that has these these three inner rows of of a design okay and let me go take care of that and i will be right back Okay, so let me bring in all my pieces here. So on this piece right here, I am going to stamp a greeting. And I'm going to use from that, that um, Lasting Joy stamp set, the one that says Thinking of You. And I'm going to use my Knight of Navy ink for that. So I'm going to ink this up. Let me bring this down a little bit so I could see where I'm stamping. And I'm going to stamp that right in that center rectangle like so. And then I'm going to take my um, 
my seal. What's cool about these dies, it makes a really, really cool O for Ohio State. So I'm going to make something because I love my Ohio State. I used, I used to live in Cleveland for about 14 years, 14, 15 years before I moved down here. So I love my Buckeyes. Since this is a little bit warped from doing the die cutting and, well, not so much the die cutting, but the heating. And I don't know why my adhesive is giving me a hard time. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece, make sure I got no powder all over everything. And I'm going to center this on my card base like so. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in that textured ribbon again. And this is going to go straight across. I want a straight edge on my ribbon. And then I want a piece that's going to go straight across. And then let's bring in my silicone craft sheet and my seal. Add some to the back of this. Make sure that my adhesive is not really sticking out from the sides here. There's a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go straight across in the middle of my card, like so. And then I'm going to trim these ends here. Yeah, that's one end. There's the other. Okay, and then on the back of this piece here, I'm going to add some dimensionals. more take off my paper backings and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just place it right in where it was die cut Try and get it straight. Let me bring it a little bit closer to me so I can line it up a little bit better. Like so. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of adhesive on the back of that. Okay, then I'm going to bring in those in color dots again. And I'm going to add one of each of these different sizes on this, for this card as well. Put one there, one right there, and then one more right up here. Okay, so there is our second card using that big background type stamp and you can with this you with those dies you can actually cut out each one of these frames individually as well 
So let me bring in the first card that I did. So here's our first one. I may just trim that a little bit better, but very simple card using that embossing folder and the DSP. And of course, all these colors are in the DSP. And then here's our second one using the Countryside Corner stamp set along with its coordinating dies. So if you had liked these cards, um, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please um, subscribe to the channel. It does help me in not only growing my YouTube channel, but it also helps me in growing my Stampin' Up! business as well. Now, before I leave you, because this video is, is in the month of June, I do want to make mention um, that Stampin' Up! currently has a sale that's going on, and it's on the Stamp and Die bundles. If you go onto the Stampin' Up! website, and you do a search for stamp and die bundles, you will see that those bundles are an extra 10% off. So our stamp and die bundles, they are discount price, the bundle price of 10% off. And during this sale, it's an extra 10. So you're getting 20% off on these bundles. Now it's just for the stamp and dies. It's not the stamp and the punch bundles. Um, there are other bundles that have carried over, but they're not discounted. So those, those bundles aren't part of the sale. It's just the ones that currently have the 10% discount on them. And again, if you go to the website, and you do a search under the stamp and die bundles, you'll see all the bundles that are, are sale priced for this sale. Now, in addition to that, there's all, you can also get 10% off of the big stamp and cut and boss machine that you saw me use for my two projects tonight. And it also applies to the two mini ones. So we have a mini white one. And we also have a mini boho blue one that was that was a special um, during celebration for those who had joined as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and they had more of those left. So those are available in the online store. So you can get 10% off on the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines as well. Now the sale, it does go up until June 30th. So I just wanted to put that out there since we are still are in the month of June. And I just want to let you know about, you know, the current sale that's going on. So if you would like, um, I do have a newsletter that I put out monthly. And so any specials um, that I know of at the time, anything new, like new kits that have been added to the online exclusives, I put that all in my newsletter. I also uh, have information regarding my YouTube channel and the schedule of the products that I'll be using for not only my Throwback Thursdays, but also for my Friday Night Lives and also um, my monthly Christmas card inspiration that I do on the first of each month. And then also there's my Paper Pumpkin which I actually posted, I got my kit on Saturday and I did post the video for that on Monday. So I did that yesterday. And yes, I am recording this on Tuesday. So I'm getting ahead of the game here. So, um, so with that, again, if you like the projects that I made for today, tonight, today, Depending on when you're watching this, please give them give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It does help. And I appreciate any little bit of help that helps me um, not only grow this uh, channel, which, by the way, I noticed that I hit 101 subscribers. So thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed and those who will subscribe in the future. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. So 
Until next time, everyone stay safe and have a blessed one. Bye-bye. Oh,